trick with this stuff is to not go fast and apply just the right amount of pressure right. to keep the right amount of speed where it doesn't just wipe them out. Ow. <laughs> you didn't see that. Now I would never run a port this smooth with yep. digitizing something, that little ruby. Yeah. If it's too rough, it'll vibrate or yeah, yeah. Another tip. But that's the point that we're that you're making is that when you're doing this for digitizing, that surface is not what you would use. And no. it, you, you want a rough surface, right? The problem is, like he's saying on the splines, when you digitize that, it's yeah, rough. The it ruby creates, that rides the it creates another thing. ten hours in the CAD software to fix it. There's one other step that I really do. okay, okay. That will completely alleviate the skin. Again, it's best for a good surface. It's real pretty, like four times. I'll use the old method here. This is what you know how long that is, don't you? Polish an exhaust port. This is titanium. <laughs> I took a titanium valve. Oh, yeah. Okay. Took curved it down to a quarter so it fit in the collar. You've got to spin these up. And if you use steel, they just bend. Did you hear that, dude? There's another secret right there. <laughs> There's a baby's butt right there. Oh yeah, look at that. But even sometimes if you polish a short side like that, it'll, yep. screw, it'll screw it up. You know, some people will, will polish short sides and think, you know, no way. It's not a good idea. I you need that. You need a constant surface tension all the way around that short side. You just need the polished surface. And there's things up where it shouldn't just to break the puzzle. People will hand sand stuff. I, yeah. I hand stuff. Yeah. I hand sand until I have no fingers on it. 